summer solstice is the first day of the summer and it's a day that many cultures throughout the history celebrate the sunlight, the longest day of the year, inviting in more light and increasing our vibration and celebrating the blossoming of the seeds that have been sown during the spring. So as a yoga instructor, I've celebrated various ways to honor summer solstice as summer solstice always coincides with International Yoga Day. So today I'd like to celebrate summer solstice with you by taking you through a very gentle sun salutation that you can do anytime, even without a yoga mat, that anyone can do. And also Reiki to energetically increase and raise your vibration to catapult you to your highest potential. So let's dive in. So I'll be taking you through three variations of sun salutation practicing gentle yoga. So this is great to do when you first wake up to loosen out your body from stiffness, from sleeping. It's a way to greet the day with gratitude, welcoming the light, welcoming the sun. So traditionally, it's practice facing east, greeting the rising sun. So wherever east for you, if you want to try, you could try that. So with each variation, I'll be facing different directions so I can demonstrate better, but you'll be just facing the same way throughout. So the main foundational pose of all yoga, especially sun salutation, is coming into mountain pose. So you want your feet to ground evenly, standing tall. So ideally, you want to stack your ankles, knee, hips, shoulder, crown of your head all in one line. And then ground evenly through your feet. Take a moment to relax your shoulders. Feel the earth beneath you. With an open heart, take a deep inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. And the key is to link your movements with your breath. The first variation, I'll be turning the sideways. So feet can be parallel or together, whatever feels most stable for you. And then on your inhale, reach your arms out and over your head. And then you want to lift your heart, press the shoulder blades into your chest as you bring your arms into cactus arms, elbows, shoulder height, palms towards the sky. And then exhale, reach your arms up as you fold, hinging from your hips. Feel free to bend your knees and let the head hang. And then bring your hands to your shins, inhale, Length into a flat back, half fold, exhale, release, forward fold. And then inhale, root and rise to stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. So that was the first variation with the shoulder opening. So let's do that one more time and we're just gonna link your movements to your breath, one breath one movement inhale lift your heart exhale to fold inhale halfway up exhale to fold inhale root and rise exhale hands to your heart and then the second variation i'll be facing you again you just Keep facing the same way. So come to your mountain pose and inhale, 
On your inhale, reach your arms up. Exhale, lean to your left. So we're gonna do a, adding a side lean, opening up the side of your body. Inhale to reach both arms up. Exhale, lean to your right. Keep both feet grounded evenly. Inhale to reach up. Exhale to fold, hinging from your hips. Long spine, let the head hang, arms can dangle, legs can bend or straight. Root your hands at your shins, inhale halfway up. Flat back, exhale to fold. Inhale, root and rise. Big arms, exhale, hands to your heart. So again, we'll just do one breath. Link the movements to your breath. So the first round, I went a lot slower because I was explaining the various alignment points. But this time you're just gonna move with the breath. Flow with the breath. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, lean to your left. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, lean to your right. Inhale to reach up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway up. Exhale to fold. Inhale, root and rise. Exhale, hands to your heart. So that was variation two with the side lean. Third variation, I'm gonna turn this way. Again, you can face forward but the same way. And this time we're gonna add glute and your quads. So we're gonna come to chair pose as you inhale. So what you're going to do is bend your knees, stick your butt back, weight on the heels, and sit into an imaginary chair. And then make sure that your spine, the tail of the Tailbone through the crown of your head is long, core is engaged. And then inhale, reach your arms up. Or you can have your hands at your waist. Exhale to fold. You can bend your knees or straighten. Whatever feels best for your back. Let the head release, reach your hands, the shins, inhale halfway up. Flat back, long line, crown of your head to the tailbone, open your heart, shoulders back, exhale to fold, bend the knees over your hips, inhale back to chair pose, Utkatasana, and then press up to stand, exhale, hands to your heart. Again, let's do that one more time, so this is the most straight hip heat building of the three. So on your inhale, chair pose. Exhale to fold. Inhale halfway up. Exhale to fold. Bend the knees lower your hips. Inhale to chair. Press to stand. Exhale, hands to your heart. So I hope that was helpful. So you can do all three variations alternatively, or you can pick one and do several repetitions. And for summer solstice, many yogis celebrate International Yoga Day by practicing 108 rounds of sun salutations. So if you end up doing that, let me know. And let me know which one is your favorite of the three in the comments below. 108 is a very sacred number that's honored by various traditions, especially in yoga. And 108 equals to nine in numerology, which is the number of completion. And it's a very sacred number um, that's, that's honored by many religions and traditions throughout history. And summer solstice marks a midpoint of the year. It 
happens in June. So it's a great time to review and reset your goals for the year, as well as celebrate any wins. And this is a very special summer solstice that is supported by the presence of Jupiter, the planet of expansion abundance. So as I always mention, this is really the time to set big goals. And it's also with, and this summer solstice also coincides with the Capricorn full moon. So Capricorn is usually about careers and that mountain goat that can jump and leap very effortlessly to the highest point of a rocky, very harsh rocky mountain. So really take, don't worry about how things are going to happen. Just set big goals and just visualize yourself jumping in. So let's just bring in Reiki energy at this point. I'm going to ring my tuning fork to align you to the frequency of nature, 432 hertz. And then just feel the earth beneath you. And at this point, you're welcome to stay seated or you can lie down. Just want to relax and feel comfortable as I invite this to Reiki energy. Feel free to take some deep breaths in and out through your nose to ground. And bring yourself to relaxed and in receptive mode to receive Reiki. And just know that Reiki is the highest form of unconditional life force energy from the universe. And it never interferes with your free will. So the more you open and set an intention to receive. It'll know exactly what you need at this time. Feel free to sigh out. View, exhale through your mouth. And keep inviting this light through the crown of your head. It's filling up every cell in your body, especially areas that you need most support today. You can take a moment to remember and celebrate any small or big wins. You can give yourself a pat on the back. Today is also the first day of Cancer season, which is the water signs. Honor emotions, also full moon, can make you emotional. So honor whatever feelings that are present for you. Let yourself feel any emotions that are present for you, knowing that you are supported, you are safe. And these emotions are rising up to be acknowledged and released so you can heal and be free from it. Notice what feelings are arising for you and where you're feeling the feeling in your body. You can bring more light in those areas. <sighs> and then let it go with each exhale. Very nice. Again, and then just visualize that big dream. You can just 
catapult, leap to achieve it, no matter how impossible it may seem. Don't worry about how it's gonna happen, but at the same time, let go of any expectations. Just trust that in divine timing, and the more you raise your vibration to align, to receive, that it'll come to you effortlessly. In unexpected way, even better than what you've imagined. So open to the possibility to even receiving more expand into that feeling of how you feel as you visualize yourself experiencing your big dream realized with every senses touch, smell hear, see, feel Fully embody this feeling of abundance. How does abundance feel to you? What feelings are associated with you when you think of abundance? And it's not just monetary, it could be in so many different forms like time, more freedom, having the leisure time to do what you want, doing things that make you feel joyful, allow yourself to receive any support that's coming to you to help you receive this, achieve this big goal. Expanding your capacity to receive support from a heartfelt community. Community of people that love you. And support your dream. Keep relaxing and open to receive. Take a moment to just let's get quiet and still for a moment. Stay relaxed, let the breath flow freely. Make sure you're not holding your breath. And simply listen to any intuitive messages, directions that might come for you. yourself blossom expand into all the beauty embodying the frequency of the highest vibration of love abundance joy gratitude just inviting in this feelings of peace, harmony, connecting to nature, feel, your, feel yourself either taking a walk through the forest, sitting by the ocean, your favorite element on earth. And then feeling that oneness, connection to all that is the oneness that you are part of the whole oneness of this earth
give yourself the permission to express your creativity freely. So any inspirations, instructions, downloads that you just received from connecting to earth, feeling that oneness, as well as listening to your intuitive guidance, intuitive insights. No matter how crazy it might sound, honor what came through for you. And just know that you have the right to express your creativity freely with confidence. And you don't even have to share it if you don't want to. You can just do it for your pure joy of your own health. So you don't even have to share what you want to create, what came for you. You can just keep it to yourself and do it for the pure joy of creating the journey of the creation. And then it's up to you whenever you're inspired to share that you can share or not share. And then I'm gonna seal this Reiki ready you can stay here as long as you need to just soak in and listen to those insights in this meditative state soak in the state of relaxation receptivity and the sunlight as young as long as you need and then whenever you're ready, you can gently wiggle your fingers, your toes, and bring yourself out. And then be sure to drink lots of water. Feel free to journal. You can share your experience in the comments. And I would love to know how you like to celebrate summer solstice or what big dream that you would like more support on if you comment with purple light or specific dream you want to share I can send you some extra Reiki and um, I'm also excited to be offering you some new Reiki private sessions so if you're called to work with me or if you're in um, need of deeper customized support, feel free to check out the link in the description and book a session if you're called to. If you'd like to celebrate further, if you'd like to celebrate light in a deeper way, feel free to watch the guided affirmation video celebrating light i am light aham prakasha and i also have a yin yoga for the summer season that you can practice throughout the whole summer thank you enjoy your summer peace and light